Hello, this is David Wormsley. In this video, I'm taking a look at Beaver Thema version 1.2, which has just come out in alpha. It's in alpha version one as I'm recording this on the 9th of June, 2018. And I do believe that this video will go out of date quickly. I'm anticipating that much could change as it goes through the alpha and beta stages and onto the final release. But I thought it was still worth making for those who watch my videos just to let you know about it and also to say that I've added it to my live demo site for alpha beta testing over at beta.beaverjunction.com and all the links will be below as always. I've added some examples and I've also added the ACF Pro or Advanced Custom Fields plugin, which will make sense as we go on. But I should say that the Beaver Builder team have also made available again their live demo sites for beta testing and they're here. This is probably where you need to come to if you need speed. Previously, they have sent people to my server and it collapses because it's not used to having hundreds of people trying to create WordPress sites at one time or even thousands. So if you need speed, this is probably the place to go to the official one, but there are no examples on this and there's no extra plugin. So that's why I still do mine. So before I come off camera, I ought to explain what's in this version briefly. Now there is just one feature, but it's a big one. I think an important one. And I think it's one where the Beaver Builder team are again leading the way. And it is the ability to display Thema content with conditional logic. Now, there was some of that in the present version, the live version at the moment, in the sense that you could decide whether you're going to show templates to logged in or logged out people in WordPress. But this is much more powerful. You can display whatever templates you like set on certain conditions, but also the content within those templates. So the rows, the columns and the modules as well. The only difficulty with this release is understanding where you might want to use it. I knew about this before it was released and I did reach out to Nancy. I'm going to say Hildebrand. You, Nancy, you're going to have to let me know how you say your surname. But she does the knowledge base articles and I was asking her for some examples and she was searching for them too. And I, I believe both of us would like to hear about more how conditionals might get used. I can certainly think of some where I've needed this. So I think it's really powerful. But here are some examples on the knowledge base article that she set up. And basically, I've just stolen what she's done and set them up on my site. So I have added a few little tweaks of my own. And I think that pretty much covers it. It's worth checking this out first, but it's probably one of those things where it might be handy. I'm hoping this video will be handy just to show you where to go and, and show you that working live. So I'm going to come off camera now and dive into those properly. So to try and make this a little easier to understand, I have set up an example page, which you'll find under your play area and is the first link. Unless, of course, you're viewing this some months down the line and I've needed to change the layout. So in which case, apologies. But otherwise, you'll see here that I've set up some examples that I've borrowed from the knowledge base and have included some screenshots as well. Not everything you need is here, but maybe this will help a little. So let's move on to the first example. And this is definitely something I've needed to do. And that is to have a button show only when there is a URL link placed in it. Otherwise, for it to not show and for it to not take up any space. Now, of course, we are talking about Beaver Thema here. So this has been applied to a Thema template. And the button itself is getting the URL through a field connector which is in a field that's been created with the ACF Advanced Custom Fields plugin. So let me just show you what's set up so we're all on the same page. If I go over to the Thema layouts here is my blog singular. It says Gutenberg because I've got the Gutenberg plugin on at the moment to help with the theme testing. But let's just go and go into this one. It's obviously been set up as a singular type and it is applying to all posts so and in fact it is the default template that is that automatically comes on when you set up Thema for posts so I haven't changed anything there and also I needed to create my field with ACF so let's take a look at that so once the ACF plugin is installed we 
get this option we need to create a field group first which I've created one called blog fields and within that I've only got one field which I've called plugin links and we need to keep an eye on this it's the name which is plugin underscore links and the type of field is a URL field and finally we just need to make sure that it's going to be applying to the right location so we set this post type is equal to post so this field is going to be available on all posts so let me just show you that now let's go over to my uh, well there we are we're on the right page here so my button is showing let's go into the edit post so you can see the field and we're seeing Gutenberg at the moment so let me just scroll down there we are there's the ACF field created and obviously you saw the button so you can see I populated it so let's now come out and take a look at how that was set up so what we need to do we've got our post singular thema layout so we'll go into that and all we need to do then is to go to the button click on that and go to the advanced tab and what we have now is this new option under visibility so we have this conditional logic all these were there before and once we've selected that we get this new option here for settings now there's a lot of settings here and options available but what we needed for this is that it was an ACF field so it so it was a post custom field that we're using so I selected that I needed the name or key I'm not sure what is written in there before I write this in but that's what we need to place in there so it knows which one we're talking about and is set so when this is all set and it's got some content on it's going to show with the conditional logic the button because we are in the button settings and that's all I needed to do it's as simple as that now I'm moving on already as you can see we've got a secondary image here so this is example two let's go over to this one so this is a situation where we needed a fallback featured image on a post when one has not been set so as I said I'm using the beaver thema default template for posts I haven't changed anything and let's have a look at it. what it does by default is bringing the featured image and that's what it's doing here so I wanted one when I don't set the featured image so I, what we've done is create a copy so just duplicated everything here so all these button logics are going to apply as well and replaced the background for this row with a set one rather than a dynamic one that's been set by Beaver Thema. So this is the image that's going to show this background image every time a featured image is not shown. And we needed to set some conditions in the rows themselves. So let's go into the first one. Now we wouldn't normally need to set this up if we didn't have this replacement, but we do in this case. So we go to advanced settings to conditional logic and what we see here is the post featured image because that's one of the options here is set it's going to show this and as you would expect our duplicate one is set to the opposite so let's go into the row settings advanced into conditional logic settings and when the post featured image is not set it's going to show this row instead so that covers those two examples right let's go on to the next one okay this is where I've got a little bit inventive this is not a great example you probably would not want to do this but uh, what I wanted in this case is to have a special theme template show on WooCommerce products that were on sale so I've done this let's go out of this I'm gonna go into my shop section right okay so it doesn't matter whether we use a sale or not for what I'm doing let me go over to our thema section for this this is where we are setting the rules so we'll go to thema layouts and I've set up a template which I've called uh, WooCom sales singular and it is again a singular type and it is being applied to all products but there is a rule it's only been applied if the post content and we've got lots of options over here 
the post content contains, or it could have started with, the word sale. So that's what I've done. This template that I've created is only going to show when the post content has the word sales. So let's just go over to this one now. At the moment, I think, ah, no, there we are. It's been applied to it. And the reason is, uh, will we find it? And uh, no, we won't because I've hidden it. Let me just go and into the edit the post. What I've done is I've added the word sale here. So it contains it. Now, if I just go and remove this word and save it, it's going to go back to the default WooCommerce template. So it's not going to be using theme any longer. Let's just do that. I've removed the word sale and there we are. It's gone. So probably not the best use of that, but it just shows what kind of things you can do with that word starting content, starting with some word could activate a whole new template. So I just wanted to introduce that there. Let me end with a final example, which is using Beaver Thema parts. Let's go back to Thema layouts and where is it? There we go. Example parts. So uh, Thema parts are where you can put certain templates in hookable areas of the theme. So in this case, it's a before header and I've set the location to only apply to one post, the one called Beaver Builder plugin. And I have set up some rules that this can only show if the user role equals administrator, which is what I am. And that administrator under user login status is equal to login, which I also am. Now you are a builder. If you create a version of this demo site, you actually get builder, which is pretty much the same as administrator. So if you wanted that to apply to both, you could just, if you don't see it and you want to test this out, just duplicate these rules here under this section as well. So you add a new section or this as well. So let's just go and take a look at that to show that this is working. We'll need to go back to our blog and it was on the Beaver Builder plugin post. There we are. So this is just applying now. If I was to go in incognito mode, which I won't bother, this will just be completely disappeared or if you had a different role. So that's a few examples. There is obviously so much that can be done. I haven't explored this. I'm still learning this stuff myself, but I hope that this was useful. My intention is next to, I've already set up a site and I want to look at Thema starting from the very basics for beginners and then use this site to use it as an example for other more complex things. So I'm going to do a series of videos on Thema and with that, I'm probably going to learn more about this and conditions and how we might be able to use that. So that's what I'm next doing in my videos. I hope this was useful. If it was, as always, then please give me a thumbs up because it encourages me, but also gives me some indication of what videos are actually liked and what are not. And if you like these kind of videos, then please subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, I hope to catch you again soon. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.